Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about eight ways to communicate with other drivers. In this video, I'll be going over eight simple things that you can do as a driver of a vehicle to communicate with the other drivers on the road. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number one is signal. Now, I know that this seems simple and straightforward, but so many people don't use their turn signals. It takes literally a matter of moments, a moment to turn on your turn signal and it tells other drivers what you plan on doing. The best way, in my opinion, to communicate with other drivers is to signal. If you are driving regularly, you're probably gonna be able to use your signal really, really frequently and it's gonna communicate with other drivers really, really frequently and effectively. The second way to communicate with other drivers is to wave. That's right. If someone lets you in, if you're signaling, waiting to change lanes and someone lets you in, give them a thank you wave, just like that. If you're at an intersection and you want to tell the other driver that they can proceed, give them a wave like that. Waving is a simple thing and it's sort of a general communication. It doesn't use any language. So every driver will pretty much understand it. I mean, you can have two drivers speaking two completely different languages and they'll probably understand each other's waves very easily. The third thing that you can do to communicate with other drivers is honk. Now, generally speaking, if you do an aggressive honk, like if you're holding down your horn, that's not gonna be taken nicely by other drivers. But there are nice ways to honk, like you can just do a little like beep beep, and that will let another driver know something, and it sort of seems nice. It doesn't seem as mean as like when you just hold down your horn. But honking is actually a very effective way of communicating with other drivers because they will be able to hear it, right? It's an audible, audio type of communication, so it can be really, really effective. The fourth way to communicate with other drivers is to flash your high beams. Now this is something that generally speaking um, will work better at night obviously because that's when they're going to notice your high beams. But let's say you pull up to an intersection and you want to let another driver know that they can go. Some people wave, some people just give their high beams a little like, like a little flash and it allows the other driver to know that you want to communicate something to them. Now most of the time the high beams should be used when you want to let another other driver know something obvious like if you get to an intersection and you want to let the other driver know that they can proceed you would flash your high beams maybe it's up to you and it's up to what is commonly accepted where you live but it's usually um, something that people use to let another driver know something that they should obviously know right waving will tell them something discreet like hey listen you can go if you flash your high beams it's like I'm telling you something and you should know what I'm telling you okay Number five, the fifth way to communicate with other drivers is to use hand signals for things like turning and braking. Let's say your turn signals are out or your brake lights are out. You can use your hand signals for turning and braking. Now, I, I would go over them in this video, but I've done a whole other video on driving hand signals. It's important to know what they are. Um, and it's important to know how to use them. If your turn signal is out and you want to tell another driver that you you like that you want to turn or change lanes or whatever the case is, you can use the appropriate driving hand signal. I'll just do one example. Let's say I was my brake lights were out and I wanted to brake. What I would actually do is I take my hand. I would put it like this, 90 degree angle out the window, and that lets the drivers behind me know that I'm braking with my palm out like that, just like that. So that's one example, but there are other examples for also um, turn signals and also for, uh, for braking, right? Like I said, the sixth way that you can communicate with other drivers is eye contact. Something as simple as making eye contact actually makes a huge difference. So for instance, Let's say I pull up to an intersection and I don't know if that driver knows that I'm there. Let's say I have the right of way, but I don't know if that driver sees me. If I make eye contact with that driver, I know that they see me and that's a way of communicating that they are acknowledging that I'm there. The seventh way to communicate with other drivers is to use your hazard lights. Your hazard lights are used to tell other drivers that something is hazardous with your car, something is wrong with your car. You're driving slowly because you know something's happening with your car. Use your hazards when they are necessary. The last, the eighth way to communicate with other drivers is by talking. Let's say you're driving with your windows down, the person behind, beside you has their windows down, so you're driving windows down, person beside you has their windows down, and their gas cap is open, you could just say, 
hey, excuse me, your gas cap is open. Something as simple as that. By talking nicely to other drivers, that's how you can commu that's how you can communicate with them. And that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over eight ways to communicate with other drivers. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.